Okay, so going off from where I was at last time, where I made these indications here, next step is to actually smooth a bit out. I was working on this for a bit. I added this, um, these darker shades in here, indicated some highlights. But basically, what needs to happen is a lot of this has to be blended in and smoothened, smoothened out. Like the lead has to be a lot more smoother. Like, you see how that blends in, there's textures and things like that. A lot of the shading looks smooth. That's what happened. That's what needs to happen here. So, right here, I think I have a, a mechanical pencil. I have a 6H. I believe this is a 6H. So, what I'm doing with this is basically making everything blend in so that there's darn any really abrupt lines there's gonna be a, a a sharp highlight here so that actually has to be you know not a sharp line but there needs to be some type of line there so this is gonna be a sharp highlight right here something like that i believe i should go to here, I believe. Somewhere up to here. That's a highlight. <clears throat> There's going to be a sharp highlight up to here. This way. Here. And I think it stops somewhere down here. Well, so I want to keep this. Actually, let's make it a bit. Let's try to make it a bit lighter. Relax that in. Boom. So that's just a, another indication of a highlight. Here, I try to like blur out these edges. I don't want things to be too sharp. When I say sharp, I don't want the lines to be too definite. I want them to kind of like fade out. Fade out those lines so it's not just a straight line. So that's going to be a highlight right there. And basically, when 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 we do our highlights, they're not ever really sharp lines. Sometimes they are, but some most of the time they aren't. So what I'm gonna do is, I don't know if you can see. There's a sharp, like these are sharp right here. These are sharp edges. I don't really want those edges to be like that. Not so much, at least. So with the lightest pencil that I have. I'm gonna go on and fill a lot of patches in and at the same time try to blend this in so that it doesn't look like a straight sharp line. Kinda like blend this all together best as I can. Try to really just basically get these sharp lines out of the way. I could use this to help out a bit, lighten it up a little bit. I'll blend it in a bit. And then the highlight that I actually put in is not going to be a straight white highlight. There's going to be some shade into it, so, you know, if it grays up a little bit, it's not, it won't really matter, you know. Um, let me use the 
sold for six, of it, six, eight pencil I got here. Right. So, this is also a six, but another six H. It's just not as thin as the mechanical pencil I was using. Just make sure we smooth in all this in, make this a lot smooth. Smoother than it looks at least. Missing a bit. So basically what we're doing is just making things smooth, taking out all the patches and the shading. It's a tedious process. But I mean this is this is the best part to me. Filling in these patches. It's actually therapeutic. It's therapeutic as hell. Just folding these things in. I mean, this is just one way to do your shading. This is the way I always do it. That's why my shading, you know, tends to look ultra smooth. It's because I'm like meticulous. I try to be as meticulous as I can with it. For sure, it gets tiring. But I mean, it is real therapeutic and then I guess I'll just fill in the highlight a bit a bit just so it doesn't look like so it doesn't look like a straight white highlight there's actually some shading there it's not that white so we'll just fill that in See, so now, I don't know if you can tell, but there's less of a, it, the lines aren't really that sharp anymore. You see, it kind of like just blends into a natural, you know, separation of light and shade. It could even tone down this shade, this highlight a little bit more. See what I'm saying? Like you see how this is like a real sharp line. I don't want these muscles, um, the highlights in these muscles to look like that. Then after I'll just, you know, I could just go back over it with a brush. Blend it in a little bit more. Basically to lock those together. See? So now you have a natural highlight, like nothing too crazy. Nothing too sharp. And I actually gotta shade this in too, so. But yeah. Really, really quick and, um, you know, without getting into too much. This is basically how you fill in all your patches so that the shading ends up smooth. What I'm aiming for is a flat, a flat, um, you know, lay this out real flat. See that close up. This is like, this is the first layer, so you still see the graininess and the, sh the graininess and the shading. But after, you know, we get a lot more layers in there, a lot of this graininess will disappear. Let's see, like I mean, this is grainy, but that's texture. You know, that's the textures. I'm talking about like the actual graininess, like the line work and the shading. You don't really see any of that. And this is basically how you do it, just over and over, going at it. Also going back over with your, with your brush. This is not going to be as white either. This is going to tone down a bit as well. 
this highlight right here. This is going to be dark, a lot darker up here. Or this in here. As you can see, I already hinted out some of the um, the threads on his bandage. So you can tell what's going to happen with the rest of the you be able to tell it's gonna happen with the with the fist right there. Basically, these first two videos or this first video, this is basically introducing you to how I get the shading to that level, to that type of like saturated level right there. It's just this back and forth. You know, I'm just layering it with lead. Putting those indications in and then layering it up with lead. That may not seem like this isn't this is doing nothing at all. But it's basically gradually just filling it with more lead. 